With the fall 2020 anime season coming out, many of you might not be fully aware of what these cities for Love Live might be doing outside of the Love Live world. Some of the new anime have already aired, while others are still airing as of right now or yet to been aired. And yes, there is an Ijikasaki High School Idol Club anime, so yes, that's obviously the one with the most Love Live seiyus. But what are the other anime that also has the Love Live seiyus in them? My list is based off the MyAnimeList.net whole list where I went through all of the anime through this season for fall of 2020 and I went and checked every single one and if any significant roles were available for any of the Love Live Seiyus, I went ahead and took that note and will, will be in this video. So if they are so insignificant that they weren't even listed, they will not be included because honestly, that's not very important. I will mention any new anime that is in this season of any of the main Love Live girls, so anyone from Muse, Aqua, Nijigaku, as well as Saint Snow. Rise is... Eh. But those are the ones I'm going to be focusing on. I will not be doing other characters. So uh, this is what I would call the main ones and I don't know Liela yet. So obviously that will not be included. So why am I doing this? Well, I think not everyone's going to be aware of all of the other roles that these girls are doing outside of Love Life. But I also think it's just really cool to be able to see the Love Life series that you guys love and adore. And see them voice someone else. So there might be some new connections you make now that you realize, oh, that person's voicing that. Or, you know, you get to see the really vocal ranges of some of these girls. So I think that's just really fun and cool to be able to do. Now, I won't necessarily be able to hit every single role because I might miss some. So if I do, let me know in the comments below. The first anime that I'm going to mention is Tonikoku Kawaii or Tonikawa Over the Moon for You. So this one I actually have watched. The main character is this girl as you can see here and her name is Tsukasa Yuzaki which is voiced by Akari Kito. If you look in the top right, I have an image of who Akari Kito voices which of course is Kanata Konoe. I won't do this for every anime, but I did watch this one, so I will go ahead and explain the basic gist of it, which is there's a guy named Nasa. Yes, that Nasa that you're thinking about. He was saved by this girl, which is voiced by Akarikito. He instantly falls in love with her and then decides to marry her just literally on the spot. Now that he has a wife, despite knowing nothing about well, her and, you know, dating in general. So this one is definitely focused on the comedy and romance that might be de dealt with, especially with a relationship created in such a strange circumstance. I've watched the first two episodes, so I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it, but it's definitely been interesting and other people seem to be enjoying it, so perhaps this is something you might enjoy for yourself. On top of that, we also do have the opening of the song being voiced by Akari Kito with the song called Koi no Uta. Next up is Shakuman no Inochi no Ue ni Ore wa Tate Ireru. Might have said that wrong, but it more or less translates to I'm standing on a million lives. I don't really know anything about this anime, but the only thing that is going to be related to Love Live is that the opening song is voiced by Kanako Tatsuki, which of course is Hanamaru. Arachi to Shiramura or Arachi and Shiramura has Sakura Arachi which is voiced by Akarikito again which is kind of the Konoe. I don't know too much about this one but I do know it is a shoujo eye and a slice of life anime so that might appeal to a lot of the love live watchers out there. On top of that, she participates in the opening and ending theme, although the opening theme also has Miku Ito, who voices Shiyamura, in it as well.
Next up, we have Iwa Kakeru Sports Climbing Girls, or hang on, Sports Climbing Girls. We have Aina Suzuki, who voices Mari, who will be voicing Sayo Yotsuba in this anime. So, first of all, we will be able to do the first time in the she also participates in both the opening and ending theme for this anime. The opening theme is just her while the ending theme is a combination of a bunch of girls to singing together. Next up is King's Raid Ishi Wosugu Mono Tachi. Which, this one is going to be voiced by Yoshinanjo, which does Ellie, but she does a side character known as Lupine. So if you are interested in watching an anime for a love like girl doing a major role, this is definitely not the one to watch. As I was saying, she barely talks in this anime, at least I've seen so far in the first few episodes. So again, not very big role for her in this anime. But she does sing for the opening theme, which is Legendary Future, which is by Thripside, which of course is just Yoshino Nanjo for vocals. For Dragon Quest Dai no Dai Boken 2020, we have Ai Furahata, which is Ruby, voicing the Gome which is that yellow thing that this person's holding. Here we have a recurring series which is Kochuma wa Usagi Desuka Bloom. So, or as you might know better know it as, is the order a rabbit. This one of course has Sorotuki voicing Maya Joga. This one basically has just a bunch of cute girls just going into cafes and getting drinks and stuff, at least as far as I can tell. You can also find her performing in the ending theme with a bunch of the other girls. Here we have probably the one with the most love I say use as of right now, which is Rail Romansk. This one actually has three of them, Io which you'd see on the left, and later you'll see Ran, which is by Ayuchira, and then Riko, which is by Yukira Kubo. So we have Ruby, Kotori, as well as Haneo, who are voicing this anime. This anime seems to be about railroads, and it's about three minutes per episode, so you don't get much per episode, and I'm not entirely sure what this is for. But a bunch of girls doing stuff with railroads, as far as I can tell. Now, some of you might be familiar with this one, which is D4DJ First Mix. This is going to be Am, and it's coming out soon, but is not out yet. It airs on the 22nd, but we have two girls from here. We have Yuka Jennifer Sasago, which is voiced by Moeka Koizumi, voices Shioriko Mifune and Nijugaku, and then we have Nao Fukushima, which is voiced by Hinata Sato, which of course does Leia. And her is the anime is not out yet, so I don't have any clips to show, but we know what they kind of sound like from previous experiences. Next up is Aize Gambare Maho Shoujo Kurumi which is going to have Yukura Kubo voicing Kurumi. Of course, this is Hanyo Koizumi, as we've seen from before. Despite the fact that the anime has already been airing, I was not able to find any episode for season 3, so here's a clip from episode 1. <laughs> In the newest iteration of Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s, we have Romin Kirishima, who is voiced by Tomori Kusunoki, which of course voices Setsuna Yuki. As 
And of course we have Black Clover which is a recurring series that's just going non-stop kind of like one, one piece. We would have Sylph which is voiced by Ayuchita. She's that little elf floating in the air. And you won't see her that often as she is more of a supporting character but she does show up once in a while so I figured I will mention it. Now we are getting into movies, and this one is Burn the Witch, which actually is more of like three episodes than a movie, but I guess to combine them together you have a movie here. We have Nini Spring Cole in Burn the Witch, which is voiced by Asami Tano, which actually voices Sara in Saint Snow. <laughs> And of course, a lot of you already are aware of this, but we have the Kimetsu no Yaiba movie, which is Mugen Resha Hen, which is going to be translated to Infinity Train. And we have Nezuko Kamado, as you see here, which is going to be voiced by Akari Kito, which of course is Kanata Konoe. I think it's a good idea to watch the anime, which of course she also voices in, but there's going to be the movie as well if you're interested in seeing that, which is going to be new. That the movie's not out, but I can give you a clip of the anime so you can get an idea of what she sounds like. And last but not least, I have Biza, which is from the Grisa series. We have the Phantom Trigger the Animation Stargazer, which is going to be the second one after Phantom Trigger the Animation. And this movie is not currently out, but we do have two characters which are going to be voiced from Love I Say. It's the first one, which you can see on here, which is Megumi. Kumashiro and I looked for in the previous movie to see if she was in anywhere in there and while my anime list says she is I couldn't find her anywhere so I guess I'll just show you her. Now the other girl I have seen in the movie she is Maki Inohara which is voiced by Yoshino Nanjo which of course no is going to be for Ellie. So she actually is in there so let's get a clip of her. <laughs> So that is more or less it for what these girls are doing for the fall 2020 anime. So of course there's going to be more for future seasons of anime. But this is just more or less what is coming for this season of anime. There are plenty of girls who are continuing to release more songs for their solo career. And of course Nijigago is still going and even Aqua is still going. And we'll have to see about Saint Snow. But there's still a lot of activity for these girls and you can find them all over in anime world if you go ahead and look. So these girls have been really expanding and it's really cool to see when you realize, wait a second, this girl that I watch in this anime is voicing both this character as well as one of my favorite love life characters. So I think that's really cool to see and that's why I decided to create this video. So let me know what are your favorite roles that you have already at least known or just have figured out what anime do you plan on watching for this anime. That is Beyond Love Live because there are some great anime out there as well. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below if you enjoy these kind of videos. And if there's enough interest, I can do this for the next upcoming season of anime. I'll probably wait for a few episodes to come out so I have some content to show you where you can see them actually voice the characters. And if there's anything I miss, of course, put that in the comments below to let other people know. Yes, there are some girls who are doing other things that are not strictly anime. Especially some girls who are doing things like Bang Dream or some other kind of idle activities. They are doing content non-stop as well. So you can find some of the Love Life studies doing some other idle activities. Especially like Umi and Bang Dream and etc. Which was not mentioned because that's not strictly them releasing a new anime this season. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to catch you guys in another video soon.